All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Akeem, from Pro Football Exclusive, here to continue with my first-round mock draft for this year's NFL Draft. The Arizona Cardinals are on board with pick number 20 of this year's draft. And I must say, they had a pretty impressive year this past season, just missing the playoffs going 10-6. and six. And in my opinion, I think they were a running back away of actually doing something this season. Now, during this offseason, there was a big confusion with one particular signing for Chris Johnson, uh, for former Tennessee Titans, running back headed to the New York Jets. I honestly believe that he should have tried to join the Arizona Cardinals. I think they were just a running back away of actually doing something for this upcoming season, but I still think they can pick up a decent running back to work along with Andre Ellington, who had an impressive year, well over 800 yards all purpose, five and a half yards per carry. I think he's a good running back, but he is not a running back who can carry the load and have 25 to 20 to 25 touches each game. So he's going to, the Arizona Cardinals is definitely going to be looking at running back with this particular selection. Now, overall for this team, I think they had an impressive year. Carson Palmer had a decent season, passing for over 4,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, but 22 interceptions. And I think they could need to address the quarterback position for the future, probably for this year's draft, and probably with their first pick at pick number 20. They need to look at a future quarterback to replace Carson Palmer. He is entering his 12th season, and plus 22 interceptions, that's not too good. They need to address the quarterback position, possibly with this first pick. Now, all, all overall, they did was they were was 13 um, in the league in passing yards, 23rd in the league in rushing. So that's why I mentioned the running back position. I really think Chris Johnson should have really had a better consideration of joining the Arizona Cardinals. And I personally believe that he was more of he made it more of a selfish choice of going to the New York Jets. That's just my personal opinion. It kind of showed a little bit his true colors, actually going for the money and going for media marketing. Yes, there's not too much marketing for the at Arizona, but I still think they had a better chance of making it to a Super Bowl and possibly becoming super. Super Bowl champions. So that pretty much shows a little bit about um, Chris Johnson's character. That's just my personal opinion. I think he was going more for the money and not more, uh, more for the glory. Now, defensively, they had a pretty good year. They were actually first in the league in rush defense, had a great front seven, for, um, 14 in the league in pass defense, but they could also address the safety position. Tyrell Matthews actually coming back from a knee injury, but he needs a good safety, a good cover safety to work alongside him, with him. Now, sticking with the defensive positions, they could use a good defensive end for a 3-4 defensive end or three or 4 defensive tackle. Darnell Dockett, he's actually entering his 11th season, so they could probably look for the future working a lot of getting a defensive tackle to work along with Darnell Dockett, who did make it to a pro couple of Pro Bowls. So they have a lot of options to go with this particular selection. Not too much of panic. They did go 10-6, and six and they're in a part of a competitive and probably the most competitive division in the National Football League, the NFC West, because they have to deal with the defending Super Bowl champion, Seattle Seahawks, as well as my San Francisco 49ers. So it's going to be a very competitive year, and please do not sleep on the St. Louis Rams. Now, for this particular pick, I think they probably need to address the defensive end. I think they need to address the safety more importantly, but I think because of, I think Calvin Pryor is going to be, I have Calvin Pryor leaving um, to the New York Jets at pick number 18. I think they need to address a defensive end, and I think they should go with Coney Ely out of Mizzou. Now, he's very athletic. It reminds me a little bit of Ziggy Ansah, two athletic type um, players who do draw a lot of attention. He has a lot of big, he has big upside, as opposed to his teammate Michael Sam, who was the co-defensive player of the year of the SEC Conference. But you see a little bit more potential and upside towards Coney Ely, and I I think he could be a good fit for this young Cardinal defense who has a lot of crew key role players around him who, who could work around him. Uh, Daryl Washington. Let's not forget about Carlos Danzig who had an impressive season and Kalis Campbell who had nine sacks last year. I think Coney Ely could work well along with these particular players. But who I think they will select and who I think can be still available is Calvin Pryor out of Louisville. I think that the Arizona Cardinals, that they see him still available and talk about Calvin Pryor, I think they will go with him at the safety position. But they still, like I said, they can still address a, a quarterback in the running back position, but in the later rounds, particularly at running back, I think they can use a good running back to work as well as a tandem with um, Andre Caldwell. But I think for their first pick, they should go with a defensive and, and Coney Ely is my guy from Missouri. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is tomorrow, but pick number 21 of this year's draft belonging to the Green Bay Packers. Thank you for watching this vlog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.